So Mark Hamill did an interview with Den of Geek, and he had a lot to say about Star Wars. The actual interview was supposed to be about Nightfall, but of course with Mark Hamill you have to ask him about Star Wars. And he talks a lot about his opinions about the Star Wars franchise and the current state of things and how Lucasfilm has ran it. It is a little lengthy, so this may take a little minute to get through, but still. Here's what he said about The Last Jedi and his character of Luke Skywalker. He says, The thing is, Luke changed so much between the first trilogy and the last trilogy, I got myself into trouble. I made a vow, I said that I'm not going to talk about the movies anymore because that's important for the audience to see them. My problem was, I wasn't dealing with social media back then where you say something and it goes around the world in 24 hours. And then he goes on to say how people sometimes take his, uh, you know, quotes out of context and everything and use it for their own objectives and opinions and everything. And he goes on to talk about Star Wars fans and why they're so passionate and everything. Here's what he says. I was once describing Star Wars fans, and I said they're passionate, they're opinionated, and they feel a sense of ownership. Because they've invested so much time in these characters and these stories, and I realized I was describing myself. It can get you into trouble, because I don't control the storylines. I'm sort of like a musician. I read the music and I try to play it to the best of my ability. That doesn't necessarily mean I like the tune, but that's not my job. He also talks about how when, you know, Disney CEO Bob Iger, he said, you know, we're doing too many films at once, there's too much Star Wars, we're going to slow down and everything. Apparently Mark Hamill actually talked to Disney executives about it, and they just didn't listen to him. Here's what Mark Hamill shares. In our day, it was three years apart. Now they're two years apart with an independent movie, and he's talking about Rogue One and Solo, in between. I say to the executives at Disney, really? Han Solo movie five months after our movie? Give it a rest. They say, well, we have to keep a schedule clear for Mary Poppins. But I can be mouthy because, you know, what are they going to do? Fire me? He also talks about his disappointment with the Han Solo death in The Force Awakens. Here's what he has to say. I just thought Luke's never going to see his best friend again. You look at it in a self-centered way. I said it was a big mistake that those three people would never reunite in any way. I guess I was wrong because no one seems to care. I had to stipulate that I care, but it didn't really seem to attract the larger audience. Luke, Han, and Leia will never be together again, and I'll probably never get to work with Harrison again. Then the second thing was they killed me off. I thought, oh, okay, you should push my death off to the last one. That's what I was hoping when I came back. No cameos and a run of the trilogy contract. Did I get any of those things? Because as far as I'm concerned, the end of episode 7 is really the beginning of episode 8. I got one movie. They totally hornswoggled me. Then they say in the script, forget the past, kill it if you have to, and they're doing a pretty good job. And a lot of people are hitting on that, the fact that Mark Hamill, he's pretty, he's being pretty funny with that last one, saying that, you know, they're forgetting the past and killing it if they have to, and, and they're doing a good job on killing the past. And uh, I really think this interview was definitely something a lot of Star Wars fans who were upset with Lucasfilm needed to hear. That even someone like Mark Hamill, who for a while has now been on the side of the fans in terms of being upset with the current state of Lucasfilm, for me what's baffling about this is that he's getting into trouble for what he's saying. And the reason he's getting into trouble is because it's true. It's like they didn't listen to him, and now he should really just turn around and be like, hey, I told you so. Because he did. He warned Ryan Johnson from the start, hey, Luke is out of character in this film. <laughs> like, I'm not feeling Luke in this film. I don't think you understand his character. Something's off here. Ryan Johnson's like, hey, you know, you have your opinion. We're still going to go through with it. The people at Lucasfilm are cool with it and everything, and, and the story's all fine. They go through with it. Everyone's mad about Luke. Everyone's mad about The Last Jedi. And that in cause leads to the boycott of Solo, a Star Wars story. And I know there's other factors that go into the solo film being a flop, but you, you would be foolish to deny the fact that the boycott had an impact on it. I mean, you really would be. The only reason the boycott on Solo even happened was because it was the next film in line. Let's say Episode 9 came out the year after Episode 8, or even five months after Episode 8. That would be the film that would be boycotted next. It wouldn't have been Solo. The only reason people boycotted Solo because it was the next one in line. It was the closest thing to The Last Jedi, and a lot of people were really upset about The Last Jedi. A lot of people are still upset about The Last Jedi. And this Mark Hamill interview is helping people reconcile with that and say, hey, yeah, look, this guy's telling you the truth and you're ignoring it. The fact that the Disney executives were prioritizing Mary Poppins over the damn Star Wars movie annoys me. And I'm not saying that you have to prioritize Star Wars over everything. I get it. You're running a company and you have to put out movies when they're going to be financially viable. However... You should have realized with the Star Wars merchandise and franchise that you cannot put a Star Wars film five months after the last film and The Last Jedi especially being a film that divided the fan base. I mean, come on. And you have someone like Mark Hamill warning you about both of these instances and you're ignoring it. It's like they're being ignorant. To me, it's just crazy and funny to think that Mark Hamill has predicted two of these things pretty well and that is a bad reaction to The Last Jedi and the character of Luke Skywalker and five months after that film being released, Solo, A Star Wars Story, not doing so well because of The Last Jedi and also because it's so soon that Star Wars fatigue does set in. 
It's just a very interesting interview. And it's kind of good for Star Wars fans who are upset with Lucasfilm to hear this from Mark Hamill and hear him kind of back them up in a way and be like, hey, you know, the, the reason these people are upset with Disney and Lucasfilm is because they're literally killing the past. <laughs> like they're, they're ruining some of the stuff. I love what he has to say about the Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and him reuniting as their characters of Luke Han and Leia on screen because that is something we're going to miss in the sequels. Maybe we'll see it in Episode Nine. Let's hope we do. But it's one of those things where it's like, why did you not put that in the beginning? I mean, we're not going to be able to see... Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill actually perform their performances live together because Carrie Fisher passed away. And so we're not going to ever have that reunited moment with them. If you're going to focus so much on the nostalgia of the original trilogy, like you have with episode seven and episode eight, why don't you actually do some nostalgic things and stuff that would actually make the people like the movies a little more and bring the characters back together on screen? I mean, was it really that hard? Why, why did the story demand that so much? That's something that if you really wanted to please the fans, you would have done, in a way. And, it, and I hate I hate telling you how to make a story and make a movie, but it's one of those things where if you really wanted to make a movie for the fans, please the fans, you definitely would have put in a reunited moment with Han, Luke, and Leia. I mean, what was that so, so much to ask for? I mean, come on. Especially in hindsight, looking back now, would you not say it would have been a good addition? So, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts below, though. What do you guys think about this Mark Hamill interview? What are your thoughts about everything? I'm Star Wars Only. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time, and may the Force be with you, always.